ומי נאמי זה אמיר ברושי, אני אמיר ביזנס דבלופמנט מנג'ר, אלספק זה איזרלי בייסט קומפני, אנחנו יש 40 אגנטים וולדווייד, ואנחנו מיינלי על הביזנס של פאור קוואליטי, אפשי קונפרנטיב, אנחנו עושים את שני ביזנס קליינס, אחד זה לפאור קוואליטי קורקשן, אנחנו מפרסמים סולושיות להרדיוס הרמוניק לבל, להרדיוס וולטג דיפס, טרנזיאנט, פליקר לבל, וזה... a very successful solution that's installed in thousands of locations worldwide. Uh, this solution is already for 20 years old on the market. Uh, and we're on, uh, on the business of power, monit- power quality monitoring, uh, which is a business for our uh, company, and we're more uh, now exploring it and introduce it with uh, different uh, uh, con- uh, locations. And we have very successful reactions because of uh, the new technology that is involved in it. And the company in general is putting a lot of effort of innovation and uh, new technologies and new developments and to be a market leader by, by innovative and uh, innovative solutions wherever we are uh, operating. One of the things I want to share with the audience is about the estimation of costs of power quality. Uh, even places where they know they have power quality issues, uh, not necessarily they understand the cost of this. Uh, from our experience, it is the higher you go on the level of the person in the organization, he is more aware of the large picture and he can know more about the other impacts. Uh, for example, a customer that uh, asks us to come and, and show our solutions and I ask him, what is the cost? What's the annual cost of power quality failures at your organization? So he's the electrical engineer there, and he said it's hundred thousand dollars a year. Uh, then we had the meeting follow up meeting with the uh, maintenance manager. Uh, he has a broadening range, and he said it's one hundred fifty thousand a year. but the the interesting thing was that afterwards we just go to have lunch and we had it we had it just the, the, the financial manager sit with us, and I asked the same question. And I got a surprising answer of two hundred and fifty thousand dollars a year and the reason is that uh, the the electricians they are aware of the impact of electricity, but they are not aware usually about the other impact of uh, uh, losing uh, deals, marketing uh, issues, and so on uh, for estimating the cost of power quality. Uh, both for uh, professional people and for non-professional people, we provide some uh, mythology. Uh, this is based on the uh, IEEE uh, 1346. It is uh, a draft standard. It's very old. It's 10 years old draft standard that from some reason that they don't continue. Uh, but it provides a very uh, interesting analysis of the cost of power quality and also how to select the proper solution based on best return on investment. Uh, one of the things that I, I like in this uh, draft standard is that there is a checklist there. And the checklist provides uh, all different related costs. And it's a lot of costs that's mainly uh, forgotten. Or everyone knows about direct damages, but it refers also to other costs like uh, uh, customer-related costs, uh, even, for example, how would, you, how would this power quality affect the lead time that your salespeople give to your customers because they take like one week or two weeks extra for, uh, for delivery time and then if your salespeople compare to other people and to other equipment and they are faster in time, they lose business. So this is also money-wise and usually uh, it is possible to get this information uh, of, for marketing people financial people, how much it costs, labor costs, uh, 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 goods that are in the process. If you have link process, you have a, a, a line of uh, things. So you have uh, in, in work, uh, labor, labor loss, there is in work, uh, material loss, and so on. So it's a very nice list of items. Uh, this standard, by the way, since it's a draft, it's uh, available on, on the Internet. So if you Google... I typically want P1346 
so you can find the checklist yourself and, and really understand what it is. About training to uh, non-professional uh, personnel in the, in the field of power quality, uh, we find it's important to understand uh, the impacts and to really get the, the details. They don't need to get into electrical information, they have to get more financial information. And what we do when we have uh, seminars that we give from, for our products and our technologies and so on, we usually add uh, also training about this uh, subject. Usually the people that attend our seminars are the professionals, but what they do, they take the information and transfer it to the financial people. Uh, or we teach on a one-to-one -one meeting that we meet with the decision makers that we, we show them the effects of power quality in order to understand that the return on investment of most power quality investment or, or major part of power quality investment is, is uh, shorter than they may calculate uh, otherwise. Thank you.